It's Wednesday, 3rd of August 2016. I'm just approaching Archbishop Dermot Martin's palace here in Drumcondra. First of all, we'll check see if the gates are open or if they're in lockdown at the moment, which wouldn't surprise me. But if they're open, I'll take a little trip in and uh, see what Dermot Martin might have to say. Well, gates are open anyway, so no lockdown. We'll take a trip in and see what he has to say. Is Archbishop Martin at home? Mm, not at the minute. What's the story? Is he out and about? John Deegan calling. Yeah. Have you an appointment with him? No, I never have appointments with him. I just land when I feel like it. All oh, right. And if he wants to talk to me, he can. If he doesn't, yeah. so that's fine yeah. too. No, not about at the minute anyway. Have Please. you a letter for him or something? Or? No, no. I have a letter, no. but I still want to question him about. Yeah. But, uh, yeah it you need to make an appointment, I would say, now, to be honest. Is he uh, busy at the moment? Yeah, he's not around at the moment. But he, busy or not, I don't think you'll get the same without an appointment. Busy gay bashing at the moment? No. Well, listen now, that's not for me to comment on, you know what I mean? Oh, I appreciate that. What's your, you know posi what I mean? what's your position here? I d that doesn't matter, but... What's it, your name? Who am I doesn't matter. Your, what's your, yeah, John, just... well, I, well, I tell you, there's no need for you to come to the door saying stuff like that, Why regardless not? of who I am. Yeah. Well, because it's not right, you know? Well, he is gay bashing. So, well, look, it, it doesn't matter what he's doing. He's calling you know for whistleblowers I mean? now to come out. He didn't I'm ask. Not, I'm not here to he, argue he and fight with you. Any, he didn't ask for any whistleblowers when, not, when they were protected. I'm not here to argue and fight with you. He didn't ask. He didn't ask for any. Be civil at the door. That's I am all I'm being saying civil. To you. I am being very civil. Well, you're he not being civil to me if you're calling me <laughs> gay bashing and what. I didn't say you were personally, did I? I said Dermot Martin. I mean, you're speaking to me. Yes, I'm saying Dermot Martin is gay bashing. Well, then why don't you go and say that to somebody else? Why? I'm going to say to Dermot Martin's face when I see him, because that's what he's well, doing. Well, that's fine. When you I make your appointment and you get the same thing, no, you can I'll do that. I'm making no appointment. He's, well, uh, he's looking for a whistleblower now. I notice he didn't uh, call for any whistleblowers for the raping of children here. I don't here. have anything to say to you on I appreciate that. So what's your first name then? Tony. Tony. Appreciate that. Tony? All right. Thank you very much for speaking to me. No, Bonnie. You mind, sir. You take good care. Bye. Oh well, Tony gave his name anyway in the end up, but sure. no Dermot Martin. But we'll have other days, plenty other days. Dermot Martin is now calling for whistleblowers to come forward. Very, very interesting that Dermot Martin has never once called for whistleblowers to come forward to give information on the paedophile ring that they had operating in this country for decades. Never once has he come forward. Also, Dermot Martin has gone on record as stating that in the 20 years that he was in the Vatican, many of them as a representative to the United Nations, he had no idea that anything was wrong in the Catholic Church in Ireland. There was nothing wrong with the Magdalene laundries, the residential schools, adoptions, 
priest raping children, nothing. He had no knowledge whatsoever. In fact, he had no knowledge of it going on anywhere in the world. So that's a few interesting things about uh, Dermot Martin. We see now how the Roman Catholic Church always likes to use the word scandal. When it was the raping of children, it was a sex scandal. Now, it's a gay scandal. The Roman Catholic Church in Ireland like to cover up and always use the gay issue, if you want to call it that, gay people's rights. They always try to mix gay people in with their child raping priests. We'd like to make it clear that the Roman Catholic Church in Ireland will have to wake the fuck up and if they don't, they're going to disappear in this country. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm delighted that this is another nail in their coffin. Dermot Martin and the Dark Princes of the Roman Catholic Church in Ireland who are discriminating against gay people in Ireland are heading to the dustbin. And I have no bother in calling Dermot Martin out as being involved in gay bashing. This is just another form of gay bashing. It's discriminating against the gay community in Ireland. The Roman Catholic Church have no evidence to put forward that gay priests would be anything other than good priests in the community in Ireland or anywhere else. If they can put some evidence forward, I will listen to them. All they are doing is attacking gay people. I have the local priest in Anagre, Father Michael Herity, allowing his priest to go on the altar and attack the gay community in County Donegal. We have the same priest, Father Michael Herity, condoning the actions of a priest in the 1970s who assaulted me and stating that uh, he should have given me a few, few more slaps to put manners on me. This is what we've got with the Roman Catholic Church in Ireland and we've got them sending letters to people now like myself uh, banning me or barring me from all Catholic churches in Ireland. Uh, the reality is they're the fuckers that are going to be banned from these communities in Ireland. They're isolating themselves, thankfully. And uh, as I said, it's another nail in the coffin. This is a good nail. It'll take a while to drive this one home, but uh, I'll have a good, I'll have a good go at hammering it myself.